Well, hello, hello. It is Sarah Jane from sarahjanefarrell.com where I help kind people who love animals to heal their own trauma and return to trust so that you can create a space of trust and ease and peace and calm so that your animal can be their own medicine and you can be that facilitator by learning animal communications and alternative energy healing me methods that will take all the worry and guesswork out of mystery diseases or why your animals are behaving weirdly and um, save you a lot of money in the process as well. So today what I want to speak about is seven ways that you can help your cat or dog um, to keep cool and comfortable during um, incredible heat waves like we're having in South Africa at the moment. And I wanted to just keep it really simple. And if it's not simple, it's not the trust process and give you those seven ways. So the first way that you can help your cat or dog keep cool is ice, ice baby. Diddly -do -do -diddly -do. <laughs> My dogs love ice cubes. When I go to the fridge and um, take some ice out to put in my glass, and I know you shouldn't because our kidneys have to work extra hard when um, we're drinking things that have ice or we're chewing ice. But if you can just put a few ice drops, um, ice cubes in your um, dog or your cat's water bowl and please make them glass or porcelain, don't use plastic that can can sometimes leach old BPAs and, and other toxins into your um, dog's water. And make sure that the water is filtered and good high quality. Just writing um, love and gratitude is one of the ways that I love to imprint that frequency into all my water vessels that we drink out of. And of course, I love, love, love uh, structured water units. I have one piped into my entire house and my garden. And that way everything stays in balance because it's living water. So you can just drop some ice cubes into your cat or your dog's water bowl or their fountain. And what my animals love is tuna or liver flavored ice cubes or ice cubes for cats that are sprinkled with, with catnip. So I often just crush up some um, fresh juicy catnip out of my garden and I put them into the ice trays and then freeze them and my cats love it. It's such a treat. So um, experiment with that. Another way to get probiotic into them, especially dogs, not cats are a little bit more discerning, but dogs is to ferment your blueberries. And I've talked about how to ferment blueberries before. Um, they're beautiful, excellent probiotic for, for your animals is I just take some of those fermented um, blueberries out and I drop those into the ice tray and then pour in some ice or to pour in some lovely liver puree or uh, tuna chunks and give those to my animals for a treat. So remember also keep your water bowl, bowls full and change the water often, especially when it's really hot. Cats are very clever. They don't like to drink from stagnant water because that ancient reptilian brain of theirs that's kept them alive for millennia knows that stagnant water is often toxic water. So change, change your water often for your cats and add more water bowls and put them around, especially on hot days when you're not at home. The other, other thing to do is um, keep your blinds or your curtains, especially if you're waist or south facing where you're getting slammed by heat all day, keep the blinds closed because this is also um, a time when your animals will, will not want to be sun soaking. You know how cats love to absorb the heat of, of the sun, but we don't want them to get dehydrated. So try and conserve the cool in your house by drawing the blinds. And if you have a fan or even better, a humidifier of some sorts, 
and keep that going so that you're adding humid humidity into the air and of course let sleeping cats lie so you don't have a catastrophe um my my dogs as well are very good at conserving energy great danes do not expend extra energy daisy on the other hand being a little bit of um a mixed breed doesn't really know how to rest and um you know you want to let them sleep especially when when it's incredibly hot and your cat will show you your dogs as well that they would just prefer to conserve their energies and just do nothing and chill until it's dinner time so make sure that they have ample shady indoor and outdoor nooks and hiding places to burrow into my cats love to sleep in the cool dark of my dressing room because it's lovely and cool in there and remember too cats will sleep longer than normal on hot days your dogs probably will as well and one way that cats um, cope with extreme heat is sometimes they that comes naturally to cats and that is sleeping it off um, often um, belly up so that they can um, get the maximum space I always say you can tell um, the temperature of of the of the environment by how long your cat is when it's cold they're curled into up into little balls when it's hot they they really spread themselves wide on cool surfaces um, so that they can um, release that excess energy and not get dehydrated and of course they are brilliant at finding the most ideal cool locations and sleep there um, expending the least amount of energy possible so now is not the time to engage your cat in any kind of interactive play or exercise same goes for your dogs and your horses so you know couch potato charlie <laughs> is off the hook today um workout has been cancelled until further notice because it is just too hot so um just just give them the opportunity to laze about under a ceiling fan or in a shaded um catio where there is lovely cool stones and of course you can always um cool those down by by watering it i i've installed um those misters around the spaces that they love to lie in which is preferably underneath their catnip bush um just to keep everything really really cool and um really take advantage of that so remember provide fans at various angles if you can or leave the air conditioner on but always remember to keep like bowls of water there so that there's humidity in the air that it's not a dry um cooling air and uh you know be be aware if you have um fans going that they're safe and they're out of reach so that they don't get knocked over and um you know also make sure that uh, if your cats have long hair your dogs have long hair that putting the fans on you're probably going to have a fair storm of floating fair snowflakes around your house so don't be surprised if you have fur croutons on your salad dressing tonight and of course um you know that's easy to get rid of um another thing i love to do is i i'll take ice packs um and i'll wrap them in dishcloths and um leave those out especially for um my older cat who is a heat seeker although mo most of the time um she knows when the heat's too uncomfortable for her and and moves out of the sun puddles and that I'll freeze some ice packs, not the gel kind, and I'll fold the, that up in a dishcloth or their favorite blanket so that they can actually lie on those if they choose to. And of course, creating spaces, cats are much smarter than dogs, but putting like a hammock that's off the floor, um, even though our cats and dogs end up on the tiles most of the days, there there are some cats and, and dogs that still prefer the softness of a, a sort of movable fabric bed and hammocks are great you know like a little cradle that's off and it, and it allows for good ventilation to to move around your cat and and cooling down so elevated a few inches off the floor um hammocks are great they're easy to make and they provide a lot of air circulation to cool your cats down um my my snowy is a particularly cool cat who loves to to aerate herself at at any cost um even if that kind of means plonking herself down and and 
like hoarding all the 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 full-on blast of the air conditioner and we all know too that that our cats and our dogs they love to graze on grass but they also love sleeping on it they you know it's their connection to the energetic frequency of the earth so why not grow your own cat cat's grass bait if you don't um live in a beautiful property um that i'm fortunate to where i have lots of beautiful shady grassy grassy patches and big bushes of catnip for them to kind of choose their spot um you could even get like a piece of sod or turf from your garden center and put that inside if you're in an apartment or something and cats will happily help themselves to grass snacks but very soon there's one cat that always decides it will make a nice cooling bed so just remember grass cools faster than stones and it's always going to provide a really nice comfy cool spot for your cats um, you know if it if it fits they'll they'll find a way to sit um, we've seen all seen them do that with boxes and of course um a mini cat bath without the claws is always a great idea so this is one of my favorite cooling tips from from cats and one that i actually learned from toby who's no longer with us um, but he really knew how to show me how to stop complaining about how hot I was and, and provide the much needed cooling on those hot days. Because remember cats and, and they sweat through their paws, dogs pant and they sweat a lot through their tongues and their, their ears. Um, but it doesn't often, it's not often enough of a cooling function on those really, really hectic um, heat waves. So. Your cat will maybe groom more, um, which will also help to, to cool them when the moisture evaporates from their fur. And I've actually noticed my dogs also do a lot more licking, uh, much like human sweat cools us off, the same applies to them. So I like to use a nice uh, cool damp cloth to wipe over my cat's coats. Um, my dogs are a lot easier. I can coax them to come and sit on the step in the swimming pool and just kind of sit there with me for a while to cool down but uh, you know just wiping with with a nice soft cool um damp cloth not only it helps them to cool down but it also encourages them to do an extra grooming session on themselves or in in their little pack and it's sort of like a mini bath it also gets rid of a lot of grit and dirt and excess fur without being invasive and of course always ask permission before you come in with a dish cloth or uh, a wet cloth ask them you know can i support you in cooling yourself down and wait until you get a yes you know always honor and be mindful in your regard for what they're asking for um and i i don't know i've never met one of my cats uh, even when i had six of them in the house um that didn't love the feeling of the coolness on their fur and that their human was grooming them <laughs> um and you know the only the claws might come out when you start um but they'll probably turn into um contentment the catchy pressure is always free and they may start to make biscuits as you do that too um and also of course be be very aware of the signs of overheating or heat stroke especially if your cat's sort of displaying any of the signs of excessing excessive drooling or trouble breathing or excessive panting. Um, Maine Coons pant a lot generally, which is interesting because they're cats that come from a snowy part of the world. But if you see excessive panting, it's not normal for a cat to pant. Dogs, of course, pant uh, because they that's how they, it's part of their cooling mechanism. But any kind of elevated heart rate or vomiting or lethargy or sort of staggering around, please seek veterinary care immediately. And of course, as always, I would love to, for you to comment and let me know what your cats are doing or not doing to stay cool. Um, are they just playing dead on the tiles in your kitchen or are they skipping their workouts like some of mine? Or are they just sun puddling as usual? You know, please chirp, chirp me um, a line in the comments and let me know um, how you are going to stay cool with your animals uh, during the long heat of summer and i will meet you there all right take care bye